It is Monday and it is so hot outside. The heat index is 105. I don't even know why everything is just bursting into flames. I was randomly looking at the humidity across the country and I really find it interesting that Arizona had like a 15% humidity where Florida had like a 98% humidity. Uh, being in kind of the middle of the road, it's, I can't even imagine 98% humidity. <laughs> Although I'm going to imagine it next week because it's Saturday we are headed to Orlando for some work and we're going to be there the entire week. Yes, in the middle of or at the end of June and in the start of July we will be in Orlando. So all of you that live in Orlando, you are amazing people. I don't know how you deal with the hot. Um, during the winter, definitely an awesome place to be though. <laughs> Let's see, this week I want to make sure I keep up with Draw Right Daily. I need to pack supplies for travel. And I think I'm gonna take a bunch of watercolor and some paper along with me. I'm interested in continuing kind of this illustration style and continuing to work on some separate pieces with it. I also am thinking maybe some gouache and like kind of get into that. So we'll see how the week goes. Um, computer, turn it down. Uh, and also looking at working in my art journal a little bit more. I did a video in last week's vlog that was kind of a time lapse of that. So I want to get another one of those done. And I have my mountains class releasing soon. So maybe I'll do a mountain theme or maybe just more work, more prep work for the abstract art journaling class I have coming up in the fall. We will see. I hope you are having a good week and definitely getting some art in wherever you are. It is Tuesday and it is a gorgeous morning walking the dog. Ran last night, um, really feeling good about running lately and I'm gonna try and hit every other day, really is my goal to work up to that and be able to run an entire 5K as my kind of first goal starting point. I want to work on some abstract pieces today and kind of get back into working on my own stuff. I've had a lot of projects and crazy and artist block and just exhaustion but getting back to exercise kind of cutting out more sugar I'm feeling like a whole person again <laughs> um, it's really important for me to keep better balance and I've just kind of allowed that to get out of control so here's to a brand new day a bright sunny morning and starting every day as a fresh challenge all right, I am in the studio, gonna hit Draw Right Daily. I really, really, really wanna get to some of my new vision cards tonight. We will see, we're gonna watch a movie and have some popcorn after dinner. And I have some awesome news to share soon, but I can't quite yet. I promise I will share it as soon as I can. All right, I will see you in a bit and uh, have you check out my Draw Right Daily. All right, there's my Draw Right Daily. We have KL going on, and I have also started the next round of my vision cards. And kind of putting down wet medium, some gesso, and allowing some kind of intuitive play to happen first. Here we are with step number two of my vision cards, building on layers of paint and layers of marks, and finding symbols and texture in each card. This one has a figure that's coming to life. Thinking about turning this into a class, let me know if you would be interested. I think it would be a really fun one uh, to learn kind of technique and mediums and really play. It is Friday and we are heading out of town tomorrow to hit Orlando. It is going to be hot and muggy, but I'm always excited to be near palm trees and ocean. Um, we are there for work, so it won't be a lot of fun time, but I'm sure there'll be some interesting things along the way to share with you. Uh, I hope you are having a good day wherever you are. I'm about to hit draw right daily and pack up supplies for travel. So check it out. here on Friday night in my bedroom packing for the trip to Orlando and I want you to check out my suitcase because I think I might have a little bit of a problem. So I do have to wear a uniform on this trip and this is my uniform shirt. This uh, nice royal blue here and this is everything else I'm bringing. 
do we sense a pattern? <laughs> I think I might have a problem with black and white clothing. I love it. Everything I wear is black and white. If I did not have to wear these blue shirts, I'm sure I would just have more black and white stuff. Does anybody else have this problem? I do have some fun patterns going on for sure, but uh, yeah. We are getting ready to go to Florida for this work trip, but we decided to go sit in the Airstream because it's quiet out here and it's beautiful outside. It rained last night, so it's cool. There's breeze coming in, the birds, the coffee, the coffee, it's so serene. Sometimes you just need to escape, even if it's just into your own backyard. All right, it is time to go, um, or almost time to go. I'm going to knock out my draw right daily first and uh, get that done for the day because you never know with travel. I want to make sure to have time for it and have a little fun with watercolor and drawing. I just posted the July prompts. They are opposites. And go check those out on my blog, on Instagram, um, all over the place, Facebook, and my Facebook group, Creative and Caffeinated. And hope you can join me for next month's Draw Right Daily prompts, and let's get to today's. <music> It's a maze every time we come in here from parking to the bus to everything else. We made it to Orlando. We have a really nice view and an awesome room. I can't wait to get all my art supplies out later, but for now we have to meet a bunch of people and get to work on what we're here to do. So hopefully I will be able to share some highlights as this whole week goes on. I'll be finishing up this vlog obviously on Sunday nor like normally, but definitely check out my next one for all the different parts and pieces of us being in Orlando in the humidity, but also in the beauty and magic of Disney. All right, it is Sunday. I have a whole long day ahead of me. You can see the uh, ceremonial mouse ears here. <laughs> I found a fun one with a little like cameo and hat and stuff on it. Um, I'm definitely getting my draw right daily done today. I gotta run around and do some work and maybe see some stuff around Orlando. We shall see. I hope you're having a good day wherever you are and let's get Sunday started. All right, I am going to hit my draw right daily. We went, we run around all morning, found an amazing vegan lunch. Thank you, Disney, for having some vegan food. And now I am gonna get to a little art making before I gotta run back out and do some other stuff. So here I am in the middle of doing my draw right daily. I just wanna stop a minute and kind of talk about my process for these food illustrations. Typically, I start with one big compositional element. So like this focal point of this pomegranate, which is today's prompt. And then I build off of that. So I kind of have my composition split almost in half down the page um, like that. And then kind of breaking that boundary. So I'm building composition by almost splitting the page into thirds. And then once I have my main compositional element in, then I add extra. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of open pomegranate here and kind of fill in this area and then I will be ready for watercolor. All right, my illustration is now done. I have some pomegranate flowers, berries, a whole pomegranate and an open one. And you can see where I filled in some little compositional elements here and also left a little white space to add interest. Next is my watercolor and I'm sure I'll be using quite a bit of red. Pomegranate is done. We have watercolor added. Um, I put together kind of a custom kit of some schminky, which are this top row, and some ones from Colorado here. So I have a very different kind of palette, both really bright, 
really saturated colors and then also some really muted more earth tones. Um, this is actually the more muted earth tones and I use just a touch of the schmanky colors to get a little extra jolt of red. So there we go and I'm done with Draw Right Daily for the day. It is Sunday night. It is time to be in Disney Springs. We had an awesome dinner. We have some fun piano music happening behind me. I am calling it a night. This is probably going to be up super late, but that's okay. Um, I hope you are having a good one wherever you are. Have a great week next week. And I will be coming to you from Orlando for the whole week. So it should be interesting. Um, I will play you out with some of that piano you're hearing right now. Have a good one. Just be honest, put the service to the test. Tie your nap around the next city and we'll find the rest. Sip the show of the doves as we only live to serve. Try the grace of this delicious, the movie, the aspiracious. You can sing, we can dance, and we'll always find the same. Try the grace of this delicious, the movie, the aspiracious. You can sing, we can dance, and we'll always find the same. Try the grace of this delicious, the movie, the aspiracious. Be right through a shizzle there! Why are you putting up a long way? Up the fat, so the glad I'm sure the man can come away. Alone and understand, but the fair without the fat. No one's gloomy, I'll come back.